Okay. Yep. Uh, just flicking through the POH actually. Hmm. Um, yes. Uh, just trying to compare it back to the Raven 1. Sure. 44. Obviously, it looks like yeah, early stages. Yeah. You should get better payload, better performance if you like that. Yeah. Sure. I think, I think one of the biggest things uh, for a helicopter that's not, a, not generally appreciated and is of enormous value is the amount of margin there is. So, when you're using all the power you're allowed, how much more capability does the aircraft have? People generally don't value that very much, but it directly it relates. To, yeah, directly relates to safety. Absolutely. So this engine is the is the Raven One engine, which would be capable of 260 horsepower, and here it's been used only to 185 uh, one eight, horsepower one eight, five, yeah, on a continuous five. basis. And 210 for five minute takeoff rating. So 25 horsepower more for takeoff margin mm -hmm. is an enormous percentage of 185 horsepower. Yes. So that's a big margin. And if the capability of tail rotors, etc., they've all got the capability of handling the Raven 2. Yeah, which outfit. is a, a huge amount of amount more. Exactly. So, the amount of control margin on tail rotors, etc., there is no question of there being a problem with tail rotor authority. For instance, no, 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 just power margins, general. So all those margins are, are they're really one of the key things that people don't generally notice. Uh, given, given all those ooh, extra tweaks and differences with this there, yeah. do you think they did that specifically to do with the safety margin on, on training machines? Sure, I think you know one of the key roles of uh, philosophy is to have much more capability than anyone's ever going to need. And, and in this case, those margins are even bigger. So it's just ideal for the training environment. It has so much margin. You're not running right up against the maximum capability of the thing. It's got bootloads left of everything after anything you'd ever need. Yeah, so mm, perfect. It, it mm. chugs along and uh, it doesn't really need to stress itself out. It's a chilled out training machine. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be great. And, and just a point on that is that HQ, uh, I might be biased because I, I like them so much, but without doubt they are the most friendly, best, most helpful capital focus organisation. But they also, not wishing to get quite prices up, they do a great customer service. If you are having your 22 or 44 or 66 maintained anywhere else, call me and I'm going to bring you down here to, uh, to meet you. So uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for my side of